Shitty car, but we hit the road. I'm making a 10 inch cheesecake and also a 6 inch cheesecake. So I mix packs of cream cheese and I'm hoping that that covers it. I, I believe it will cover it. I'm using six eggs and vanilla and butter and sugar and all of that good stuff that it, that it says to you. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, this is five packs. I'm going to add my six pack. I'm going, I just wanted to bring you guys in, right? I'm getting all my cream cheese out of there. Yes, ma'am. And if you guys know, <laughs> cream cheese is very, 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 very expensive this time of year. Yes, it is. Because everybody is doing the same thing, making that cream cheese. So let's get started. You need a cup and a half of sugar. That's what I'm going to add right now, guys. And then we're going to blend that. We're going to make sure that's well blended. We're going to make sure it's well blended because we want... Let me tell you something. This is not my first time using um, their directions to make cheesecake. And I never had a problem with it. It came out, always came out fabulous. So this is our cup. I want to make sure that I want my cheesecake to be nice. So this is our cup. And now we're going to use, we're going to go to the half. Here's the half at. Yes, ma'am, here's the half. So I'm just going to pour it in there. I'm running out of sugar because I've been making cookies and cakes and all kind of things. And if you stick with me, later on I'm making a red velvet cheesecake. I mean red velvet cake, not cheesecake. But a red velvet cake. So yeah. And those are going to be six inches. I'm making two or three six inch red velvet cakes. So we're going to do that. We're going to put this in there. Now we're gonna just make sure this is well blended like they said, cause we don't want no lumps, guys. And you know we got the right tool for that. So I'm gonna start that out on slow. And as you can see, it works very well. Very well with this kitchen aid. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm just gonna help it a little bit. I really don't need my help, so. Let's just let it do its thing. Let me tell you something, when it gets well blended, the smell that comes out of here, I'm telling you it's going to take your breath away. So as it's coming together, I'm going to let it come together. I'm going to turn it up. Let's see how that works. Just a little bit. You see how it's coming together? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to go in there and push the rest of the cream cheese down and grab whatever's at the bottom. I'm going to bring that together. So hold on for that. Nothing matters when we're way out here. Oh, I, I, oh, I. Yeah, baby, I don't have to know your Let's lock that up. And let's continue. So it's going for one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to put a little bit more in that. Just a I'm going to put one and a half. How about that? Then I'm going to put one egg at a time. I have this butter out, but the butter is not for the cheesecake, the butter is for the cake itself. The, um, the red velvet cheesecake. I don't know why I have the butter sitting there because we're not using butter in this, this recipe. It doesn't hold for it. Okay. And you know what, guys? I believe this one here is, 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 is literally done. 
we, what we need to do next is we need to make a we need to make a crumb to go in the bottom of our pan. And that we will need just a little bit of sugar. Let me put this over It's, it's much cheaper to make it than to buy it. I can guarantee you that. Everywhere you go, cream cheesecake is so expensive. Make sure mine is at the bottom. I think this one is good. So I need to get my blender down because I definitely know I need to add some um, butter. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! That's fabulous. I'm going to just... Come back, I'm just gonna move that to the side and you know do a little cleanup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the graham cracker um, for our uh, cheesecake. So all I'm doing guys is I took the storeboard um, package and I'm just gonna crumble it up and then I'm gonna put it in the Vita mixer, add a little butter and um, try to make it come together. But if you don't want to buy a storeboard graham cracker mix, all you have to do is take some graham crackers back like here, um, maybe about six or seven of them start out with that, with some real butter, and um, yeah, do the same thing. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here because I do want it to come together. Okay. So you can have it come together. Let's see if it comes together. Which is a 10 inch. And I believe that's a 6 inch. These have a good And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to the bottom. Just to give the paper something to hold on to. Just a tiny bit on the side. I believe I have a 10 inch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what can you do? Okay, here we go. We're going to start adding our mixture. Nothing matters when we're way out here. Oh, I, I, it's a, a 325 degrees. 
total time is five hours and 25 minutes and make 16 servings. So we're gonna put that in the oven right now. It's actually just a 55 minutes. Again, it said put it in. It said cool, cool before removing. So definitely you have to go you're gonna have to from the oven, you're gonna let it cool, and then you're gonna stick it in the refrigerator for uh, um, four hours. But before that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a toothpick and we're gonna stick it in the center and see if it's just almost set. It don't have to be like a cake, you pull it out and it's just almost set. And I'll show you guys, if I can remember, I'll show you guys that. Oh, I didn't put that. I didn't put this in the bottom of it. Skip my mind. We have this here, so we're gonna keep this for next time. But guys, you should remind me. Ah. So from here, we're gonna put it in the oven. Let's do the oven. Okay guys, so the cheesecake has been in the refrigerator for about six hours. I decided to bring you guys back in so you can see the end result. And you know I made a mistake by not putting the, the graham crackers on the bottom of the cheesecake. So I just put the graham crackers on top of the cheesecake. And um, this is my first time ever doing that, so we're going to see right now how that one works. So as you can see here, I started already cutting. So let's just go in and get a nice little piece and see what we got. Here. cheesecake is done and it looks fabulous as you can see in here this is the consistency that I was looking for I didn't put my crumb cakes on the bottom as you can see so we just put them on the top so now we know that we can put our crumb I um graham crackers on top of our cheesecake and it'll still work so this is cool so guys this is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey to Craft and guys I am so happy this one came out great and happy holidays to you guys and be safe. Nothing matters when we're way out here. Oh, I, I, oh.